Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Victoria panics at society when Nick reveals that Victor was lying and that everything was just a big trick. Victoria is in disbelief, saying, it's too cruel. Nick responds, you know dad would and dad did, it's too dreadful. Victoria queries, whose loyalty is he testing? They've all been quite concerned about him. After being shocked as well, Nick felt comforted. Victoria queries how he learned. Nick claims it is irrelevant. Victoria assumes their father told him, and that makes him the only family member he has faith in. Sally lies in bed and dreams that Adam and Nick are fighting for her. She yells, stop it, as they start to fight. Select now. You're the only one who can stop, Nick warns her. Him or me, Sally wakes up and says, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Adam looks at his watch at the jazz lounge and remembers what he said to Sally yesterday. Adam welcomes Dr. Skelton and informs him that he comes highly recommended. What can he do for the psychiatrist? The question goes. Adam cautions him that this needs to be kept private. He is reassured by the doctor. Adam explains to him that this is about Victor Newman, his father. I want your guidance. Without speaking with his father in person, the doctor is unable to diagnose anything. I believe he is showing signs of dementia, the doctor said. Adam tells Skelton about Victor's recent memory problems and merely asks for advice. When he came out of retirement, it all began. The physician notes that without doing testing, he is unable to distinguish between age-related memory problems and dementia. Paul sighs. In any case, it can't be beneficial for someone managing a company to have to make snap choices, can it? The physician acknowledges that stress may play a role, but so may other manageable conditions. Skelton needs to be persuaded to comply, but he would like to go over his father's prescriptions and perform a number of tests throughout the ranch. What will Nick do with the knowledge that Victor is fabricating, Nicky wonders. Victor anticipates running directly to Victoria. Nicky says she's going to be furious. Victor believes it's crucial that she remains silent about all of this. That ship, Nicky believes, has sailed. Victor tells security to let Nate in and claims it won't affect his strategy. Nicky is then asked to leave the room by Victor. Nate queries why he told him that he might be the one person he can trust and inquires as to if everything is well. Victor responds, Oh yeah, right, right, while acting perplexed. I did say it to you. Victor tells Nate that it's hard to put your trust in people who believe you're losing your mind and are incapable of managing your own company. He inquires as to whether Victoria has discussed this with him in private. At society, Nick tells Victoria about the doodle that made him face their father, who later came clean. I need to know what she's told you. He desired for me to solve this. Victoria assumes she is correct in saying Nick is the only person he trusts, and she is trying to enlist me as an ally. Nick says, don't forget about Nate. Adam and I are right in the middle of it. Victoria finds out later that their mother is aware of this and has been withholding it from her. Sally settles down to sketch in her suite, but can't help but think of Adam. After a flashback to their first date, she remembers Nick telling her he's fallen in love. Sally gets up, picks up her handbag, and leaves the house. Nick confides in Victoria in society that their mother has been suffering from holding on to their father's secret. Victoria finds it inconceivable that her father would assume she would turn his failing mental state against him. Nick remarks, that would be Adam's M.O., not mine. Victor believes he's going to be betrayed. If someone were to threaten him, he wouldn't be shocked, says Victoria. Our brother Victoria declines to go there. Nick responds, and Nate. Nick says there may be a valid explanation. Victoria queries whether he is recommending that they carry out this plan. All they have to do is let Adam be Adam. Nick believes that if they do... Adam might sneak his way straight into their dad's trap. It would make this whole thing worth it. Victoria is racking her brains over what to do. Is Nate on their father's list of potential traitors, she wonders. 
Nate acknowledges that Victoria has expressed some worries about the property. She fears that a horrible thing could be going on with him. He promises she won't use a mental slip-up against him and detests the thought of breaking her trust. Her main motivation for caring is love. You do realize that, don't you, Victor hopes and wishes that this is true for each and every one of his children. What about Nick, Nate wonders. Victor tells Nick in a flash that he shouldn't trust Adam and Nate. He assures Nate that they are having a private talk and that he must tell him something. To tell the truth, I think my family's concerns are well-founded. I truly feel like I'm starting to lose my grip on reality. Nate apologizes but queries, what leads you to believe that? Nick isn't going to try to convince Victoria that Nate poses a threat at society. Nick verifies that Victor mentioned Nate's name as a target before she yells, he isn't one, Nick. Victoria believes that in order for Adam to fail, they should follow through with the plan. She advises him not to reveal to him that he revealed all to her. We'll escort Adam right into Dad's trap, Nick nods, and Victoria remarks that they can at last get rid of him. The doctor cautions Adam against ambushing his father in the jazz lounge. Adam expresses gratitude for that. He is afraid for his father and loves him. He wants to assist him in every way that he can. They shake hands and say, I'll be in touch with you when I know more. The doctor exits and Sally shows up. She turns away as soon as she sees Adam, but he yells her name. Reluctantly, Sally goes with him. She says she's all right even though Adam notes that she appears stressed. She feels it was a mistake to come down there, even when he offers her a drink. Adam follows her as she makes her way back up the stairs. Nick alerts Victoria at society that their father's scheme might not succeed with Adam. Earlier, I was speaking with him. Adam truly appears to be as concerned as they are, and he believes that we should all work together to get Dad the assistance he needs. Victoria laughs, saying he'll twist the knife and stab him in the back. God bless Dad for coming up with this plan if it permanently gets rid of him. Nikki enters as Victoria acknowledges her fear and Nick holds her hand. Victor tells Nate at the ranch that he didn't remember Adam's baby passing away. He fears greatly that he is going to lose his memories. Nate advises him to consult a doctor before making snap decisions. Victor continues to express how much this annoys him. He was confident Nate would understand. He's a physician, and a very competent one. He warns him that nothing they have discussed can be revealed to outsiders. At society, Nikki finds out that Nick has told Victoria everything, and she is relieved. And I mean devastating, she says, adding that his firm would suffer if there was even the tiniest indication that he was losing his marbles. She is certain that her daughter is angry with her. Victoria realizes she was put in a difficult situation, but she finds it incomprehensible that she had to watch her suffer. According to Nikki, Victor appears to believe that someone is plotting to harm him, and that by doing so, they would be duped into disclosing their true identity. Victoria gets furious that he would believe it to be her. Is he really so unimpressed with her? Nikki comforts her, stating that she believes Adam is solely to blame. That's not an acceptable reason in Victoria's opinion, and she's not sure she can forgive her father. Adam follows Sally outside her suite and asks why. In her words, she virtually bolted from the lounge upon seeing him. Sally seems like something is wrong, so she asks if he's okay, but she says she simply realized she needed sleep, so this has nothing to do with you. Adam informs her about his visit with the psychiatrist and replies, no, Sally is appreciative of his initiative and can tell he is truly concerned for his father. More than anyone would think, according to Adam, Sally sighs and reaches to embrace him, saying, I'm worried sick about him, and I don't think there's a damn thing I can do to help him. They give hugs. Nate offers to assist Victor in receiving a diagnosis and treatment at the ranch. He promises the mustache it will be kept under wraps. Victor nods in agreement, but reiterates that he must keep this a secret from everyone. Not to Adam, not to Victoria— he insists that the doctor call him on his personal phone rather than over email. It will be awful if Adam discovers any of this. By the way, this conversation stays between us, Victor murmurs. 
me and you, or else. Nick summarizes at Society that it's not common to learn that someone you love is fabricating a disease in order to reveal a betrayer. They all responded appropriately. What matters is what they do from here on out. Nick advises that they follow through in the hopes that Adam will fall straight into the trap. Or Nate. Nikki offers, and Victoria snaps. Come on, you two. Would you please quit viewing Nate with such distrust? It's both foolish and absurd. Nick and Nikki look at each other, knowing as well as I do that Adam is the risk in this situation. Sally and Adam break up their hold and begin sharing a passionate kiss outside Sally's suite. They continue kissing as she takes him inside. Should they stop, he asks. Sally is unwilling to give up. Adam also doesn't. They go from making out to getting undressed together and going to bed. Next on The Young and the Restless, Jack grows impatient with Kyle, Mamie issues an ultimatum to Nate, and Ashley confronts Tucker. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.